Hello everyone. Uh, today we're going to draw, make uh, this kind of really cool looking art brushes. So let me zoom in. So it's all vector, very crisp and sharp. So uh, let me show you this. Uh, let me draw. I have another the black background here, and then let me set my um, uh, draw the line. Uh, no fill, but I'm. Since I'm using the white uh, black background, just a white stroke. So let me draw a line like this. So it's just one single line. Then open my brushes. This is the brush we're going to create today and apply it. See, isn't it cool? And sen since this is the end of the brushes, uh, it will be affected by stroke weight. You can make it heavier, thinner, or even uh, you can add anchor point anywhere then let me distort it anchor point tool so maybe something like that or like that so we can make some changes okay and you can change the color as well in my swatches uh, red color or light blue or brown anything you like okay so if you haven't start uh, subscribe my channel uh, please subscribe it and set the notification for my latest video and let's get started okay so I, I opened a new uh, Adobe Illustrator document just a letter size and then the first thing is let me choose my line tool no fill color just a black stroke and the stroke weight is gonna be really really thin hairline 0 0.05 point so it's super thin okay then click somewhere on your document and set the length to 120 point and 90 degree angle so we have a one vertical line like this so it's really really thin. So I can barely see it it's there let me zoom in okay just like this then still your line is selected your current tool is a selection tool and hit the return. We're going to move it, <coughs> excuse me, horizontally only 0 0.05 and vertically, <coughs> excuse me, we don't move. So 0. Distance 0 0.05. Angle 0. So we are moving horizontally only 0 0.05 point kind of a distance. Then copy. So we have another cut. So there are two lines now. Okay, do not release your selection yet. So hold down the command key. We're gonna duplicate this copying pasting things by uh, using the, this keycaps. Command and D. Keep pressing your com D key. Command D. So it is duplicating. Just keep going. So it looks like my line is getting thicker, heavier, but it is not. It is copying and pasting. And release uh, once you have about half inch, and I mean the quarter inch or the five millimeter thickness. So it looks like a one black bar, but it is a group of multiple lines. Okay, then open transparency panel, uh, change your opacity value down to 50. So now I have, it looks like a gray bar. It's good. Okay, so just leave it as it is. Next step is select your ellipse tool and draw a oval like this. Then choose your anchor point to add anchor point to this the plus pen tool. Uh, add anchor point here, there, here, and here. So I added four more. Now choose your direct selection tool, which is that uh, white arrow and select the new anchor point I drew, the first one. And then we're going to just distort it. So let me move it to there. Let me move this one to that point. I'm kind of a twisting it like that. And this one, I will make it fatter like that, like this. Fatter, this one, even fatter like that. And then let me move that to that. 
So there's no kind of a certain rules. I'm just uh, distorting. Looks like kind of fire flame or the smoke. Something like that. Okay. I, th I think it looks good. Let me do this one a little more. I would like that. Okay. Now select everything. So I have a bar and I have this kind of organic shape on top. So go to object menu, envelope distort and make with top object. It's time for magic. So in this case, uh, that smoke shape, this line drawing is on my top object and choose it. See? Isn't it cool? This is still vector. Sharp and clean. Okay, now we can register this as your art brush. So let me move this and then open your brushes panel. Then select your drawing and drag and drop to your brushes panel and choose art brush. Okay. Then I'm not going to change it. Uh, maybe a colorization method, you can do a hue shift. And OK. So it is, you see that here? So let me delete that. And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to draw a circle and see what happens. OK. Then open brushes panel. I'm changing my stroke because the brush is part of your stroke, your outline, and select your brush options, the one we just made. See? Also, since this is a stroke, you can control the stroke weight, thinner, like that, or heavier. Also, you remember we changed the, um, uh, the colorization method, so open swatches, so you can choose any color you like. Okay, so in this case, you can use that, or you can draw, for example, uh, any line like this, and then let me draw kind of a wave line like this okay and then apply okay and then also you can change your stroke color anytime and then also still since this is the stroke so you can make some more distortion you can change it or that way Okay, so um, I hope you enjoy this and I hope that you can use this for your future uh, design project. Okay, so thanks for watching and see you next time.